Chevy. I'm Debbie Allison and this is Crazy Felix and you're watching Paula McClay by Deck. Hi everybody, I'm Debbie Allison and I'm here today with my co-host Crazy Felix and today with Halloween being just around the corner we thought we would share with you how to make some Halloween ornaments utilizing cookie cutters. So what I've done here is I have made several different ornaments by using more than one cookie cutter for each ornament. For instance, this one I used two cookie cutters. I used this pumpkin and this ghost and then put them together. This one, same thing. I used a smaller pumpkin, same ghost. This one, I used this ghost and then this little boo cookie cutter. And so I made two different ornaments, I guess, and then I put them together prior to baking, and then that's how I came up with these. Most of the cookie cutters that I have used are Hallmark cookie cutters, and I don't think they're making them anymore, but you can find them at yard sales, and a great place to find them is antique malls and even eBay you can find them. Um, what I would suggest if you don't want to go uh, hit the streets to look for them is to just do a Google search for Hallmark cookie cutters. So as I mentioned before, we're only going to be doing this, uh, this little pumpkin. So for that what you'll need is uh, two pieces of orange rolled out to a setting of two and you'll see why we need two pieces in a minute. You'll also need a piece of green rolled out to a setting of two. Uh, another piece of green in the setting of four and a very thin piece for the eyes and the mouth in the setting of seven. You're going to need an exacto knife or some sort of knife and a needle tool and um, a scraper blade. So now that you know what we need, I guess we're ready to get started. All right, the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and put both of these pieces of orange together. And the reason we're doing that is because I want my ornament to be thicker than just uh, the one piece of clay. And then you'll take your pumpkin and you'll push it in here and I normally have to stand up for this because I don't have enough strength but I'm going to push it like this. This works too. And um, what you want to do is make sure that you press the inside in so that you get all of the pattern that's on your cookie cutter in the clay. All of your little indentions and things of that nature. Okay, and now I'm going to take it out. And we've got enough of a pattern in there to go ahead and uh, work with it. So we'll just trim the clay around the edges here with our X-Acto knife. Just like this. And then um, we'll take our, our other clay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to make this a double thickness. So I'm going to fold this one in two. And this is going to be the leaf part. So I just take my clay and push it in here to do the leaf part. And you need to press really, really hard. Pull it out. And there's my leaf portion. So I'll trim this with my X-Acto knife and um, this you could do it all with like white and paint it but <laughs> I haven't found any paints that really work well on um, polymer clay and I really like the look of the different colors of clay so this is how I figured out to do it. Um, so this is kind of like my little, my little way of doing things. Alright, so now I've got that piece there. Now this piece is going to go inside here. So I'll need to cut this piece out. And um, then we'll put them together. So this is why it's important that you get um, your pattern on your clay so you know where to cut. Alright, and then we'll just put these two pieces together. And it doesn't matter that they don't fit perfectly because we're going to put another piece on top. 
So now that we have that done, we'll just sort of put this aside and we're going to do a smaller, thinner piece to put on top of our leaf. And uh, we'll just press this in here like we did before. And this piece is what's going to kind of hold them together. So we need to carefully pull this out. And this got stuck in there, which that will happen, but that's okay. Alright, now this is going to be our top piece, or our top leaf. And um, we'll trim this like we did before. Now this will just sort of place over the top of this one and kind of push down on it so it kind of spreads out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on my tile. Those of you that have watched a lot of my videos know that I love these tiles. And um, now if you want, you can take your needle tool and because you press down, just kind of go over these indentions. And then you can take, make some, some decorative marks in your stem here. All right, now we're ready to start with our black. So we'll take our piece of black, and this is going to be the face. We're going to do the same thing. Press it in here to get our face pattern. And this is a thin piece of clay, so it may be hard to pull it out. And you just pull it out carefully. <laughs> As I said, you got to carefully pull it out. There we go. All right, now you can see your pattern. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but um, you can see your pattern here. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the steps that I did before and cut out my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. Alright, now that I have my pieces cut for my face, I just pick them up and we're going to lay them on top where they would be in the indention. And you just kind of want to press it on there. And you want to make sure that when you press it on, none of your lines or indentions show from the pattern. So you just continue on until you get your whole face on there. Okay, so I've got my face on there. Now I'm just going to go back over some of these uh, indentions that didn't quite come out so good. Make them a little deeper with my needle tool in the pumpkin here. And then you want to put your hook in. And anytime you're using a metal hook with polymer clay, you are going to need to use some super glue to uh, where it went in the clay right there so that it doesn't come out. So now you're ready to bake it and you'll put it in the oven. Bake it at 250 degrees for about uh, probably about 20 minutes and it'll be good to go. Well, that concludes this tutorial and Felix and I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Polymer Clay by Dad. So if you like our videos, you know what to do, right Crazy Felix? Like, subscribe, favorite. That's right. Visit our website too at bevinco.com, our Facebook page, our Twitter page. All the links you need are right down there. So until next time, I'm Deb and this is Crazy Felix. Bye now. See ya. I forgot what we're doing. <laughs> so if you like our videos, you know what to do, right Felix? Like, subscribe, favorite. <laughs> <laughs>